Hurting communities can become healing communities. Adversity can be felt throughout a community in many ways. Adverse childhood experiences, or ACEs, can occur in your household and may include negative experiences such as abuse, neglect, caregiver alcohol and drug use, or domestic violence. Community adversity might include discrimination, poverty, food scarcity, and substandard housing. Environmental adversities can include natural disasters like tornadoes, floods, severe storms, and pandemics. Helping professionals responding to hurting communities may experience occupational adversities like dangerous work, unpredictable shifts, low wages, and trauma exposure. Left unattended, toxic stress from these types of adversities can harm individuals, families, and communities. But strengths and protective factors can decrease the harm and stress. Hurting communities can become healing communities that thrive. When families get access to affordable health care, quality education, stable employment, and have supportive social networks, when communities provide living wages, safe and affordable housing, quality food programs, and clean water and air, when environments invest in renewable energy, sustainable transportation, and disaster preparation, and when helping professionals become trauma-informed, resilience-oriented, invest in training and development, and provide a living wage. Disaster-related trauma can impact individuals and communities differently. There are many ways to reduce adversities and heal from toxic stress and build healthy homes and caring communities. Help is available. Healing is possible. The Missouri Department of Mental Health can connect you to local providers and resources to learn how to cope after trauma. Find the help you need and learn about trauma-informed care at dmh.mo.gov.